If you are a Trello user and you want to integrate your Trello project data into ClickSense, you can do so by using the ClickRest connector. To create a Trello connection with the ClickRest connector, you need a Trello API key and an authentication token. To do this, make sure you are logged into your Trello account, then go to https trello.com forward slash app hyphen key. At the top of the Developer API Keys page, you should see your API key. Next, click the link that says Token. A new page will open. Click Allow to generate an authentication token. You will need this token later, so keep this page open. Now that you have the necessary keys, create a new REST connection. Provide a name for the connection. You will build your data request in the URL field. First, add the endpoint for the Trello Boards API, which is https api.trello.com forward slash one forward slash boards forward slash. Next, open the Trello board you want to connect to. Locate the board ID in the URL and copy it. Append it to the end of the URL in the REST connector. For this example, let's request the lists with open cards from our Trello board. Add forward slash lists. Now you need a parameter that only gets cards that are open. Place a question mark after lists to mark the start of the parameters. The parameters should look like this, cards equal open. You can add parameters by using the ampersand. You can find a complete list of parameter options on the Trello developer site. The API key and the authentication token are passed to Trello as parameters. You need to add the following to the end of the URL. Leave the method as get since you are requesting data. Change the authentication schema to basic and enter your Trello username and password. Your connection is ready. Click Create. Select the fields you want to load into ClickSense and select Add Data. You should now see your Trello data fields in ClickSense. In this example, we created a REST connection to get the lists and open cards from one of our Trello boards. But you can create other data requests by referring to the Trello developer documentation. And that concludes this video. Subscribe to our ClickHelp YouTube channel to receive new content every week.